café Mike's Daily Podcast Episode 883 Hello, this is Mike Matthews Broadcasting from Cafe Anyway here At the last place on earth Located somewhere in Podcaster Valley Today it's part two of my Mike on Mobile Matthews interview With Dan Menapace Of the San Francisco band The Illogistical Resource Department And we hear an interesting cover That they did of a famous TV show theme That's on the way Mike's Daily Podcast. Plus, we hear from Madame Ruta Vega, Valentino, and Bison Bentley at Cafe Anyway. Mike's Daily Podcast. So I love my mom and was so glad to see her recently. I traveled 2,000 miles across our wonderful country and cooked for her with my amazing chili. But something happened that was a bit scary. One day, a uh, chili omelet appealed to me. Mike's Daily Podcast. So I cracked some eggs I saw in her fridge. But what I did see Mike's coming out of the shells Daily was anything but yolks. Podcast. They may have been yolks yeah. at one time. They were definitely not anymore. To which my mom said, oh, I didn't think eggs could go bad. Yeah. So, hey, I bet you can't wait to come over to my house to see how well I cook, being that that's what I came from. No, uh, she apparently doesn't use eggs very often, but it's a bit frightening. Look who just walked in. Hello, my name is This is my dad. I can't cook very bad either. Really? Yes, my grandma. Oh. It, well, you don't have things like old dentures sitting in a cup in the back of the fridge, do you? Oh, that's disgusting! Yeah, well, I may or may not have seen that as well visiting my mom. Look who else just walked in! Hello there, Mike. This is Valentino, the parking attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Mike, we would love to come over to your house sometime. Maybe you could cook something for us. Pour us a glass of wine, day. Yeah, and maybe Caitlyn Janet could come over. She's beautiful. Do you know that? Uh, Bison, do you know that that's not really a woman? What? Of course she's a woman. She's beautiful. She's on the cover of Vanity Fee. And I want to kiss her all over. Do you know that? Ah, exile song. Hmm. Okay, well, at some point you'll discover what I'm speaking to you about. What? What do you mean that? Oh, my God. I guess I didn't know that. Yeah, I guess not. But you know what? I think it's good that education comes to us at all times. You know, we're always learning things. Our brain's like a sponge. And it help, what helps our brain is food that's not like black in color. But I will digress and not talk about that anymore. Thank you, Michael Matthew. I would like to make you something right now. Okay, great. What is it? Bands mutations. Mutations. Matthew bands often mutate over their careers and people from different bands go to other bands. This is one of my favorite bands. Oh yeah, that's right. Mike Scott is in that band, but also in that band at one time, was the keyboardist for this band. Is it like today? Hey. Oh. World Party. That's Carl Wallinger. He joined the Waterflowers. Waterflowers? I'm thinking of Hot House Flowers, who was also heavily influenced by the Water Boys. The Water Boys is what I mean. In 1983, shortly after its formation, he left the group two years later, but in that relatively short period made important contributions to both A Pagan Place and This Is The Sea. He co-wrote Dope Bang The Drum, the environmentalism anthem on the latter album. His keyboard and synthesizer work expanded the group's sound, and he also did some studio work for demo sessions. His world, par his world party project was heavily influenced by his work with the Water Boys. And this was Don't Bang The Drum from the Water Boys from the This Is The Sea album. From 
1985. That is from This is the Sea. So that's the Water Boys World Party Connection. You should listen to both those groups. They did some good albums. Mike, that was an interesting musical tangent. You're welcome. All right, so what do you think about the Water Boys World Party? Uh, people that leave things in their fridge way too long. It's a leftover. Icebox man. I keep an eye on the things that leftovers make you feel good twice. Once when you save them, I'm saving something. And second, when you get, I'm getting rid of them. It could kill me. The leftover. Okay. Thank you, George Carlin, for that. Ooh. And I was listening to a George Carlin bit last night where he totally tore Dan Aykroyd a new one. He basically called Dan Aykroyd out without saying his name. He's like, what the bleep is up with these middle-aged white men that are overweight, that are, that are tr- trying to play the blues? The blues is not a white man's music. He's like, the, the uh, white men cause the blues. They shouldn't sing the blues. But anyway, it was George Carlin's wonderful. So, what do you think about all that? You can email me, Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. We read your comments on the section emails from email. Also, email me there if you'd like to be a guest on the show or if you would like to sponsor the show, Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. We read your comments on the section emails from email and your comment, not so comments. You can also comment on my Twitter, which is at Mike Talks, or on my Facebook, which is facebook.com slash Mike's Daily Podcast. Go to mikesdailypodcast.com to find links to where to listen to the show in iTunes. You can comment on the show and rate the show there. If you do that, more people find out about us. We're also on YouTube, SoundCloud, TuneIn, Stitcher, Podomatic, MixCloud, Spreaker, Player FM, and Ameristream Live. And listen to my morning show, the Mike Matthews Morning Show, which is on a Connecticut radio station called Wolverine Radio, weekday mornings from 6 to 10. A link to that at mikesdailypodcast.com. Also a link to where to listen to my country show that I do on the weekend on Country Crossroads Radio. And you can find where we are on Instagram, Yelp, and Tumblr. And you can also help us out through the Amazon link at mikesdailypodcast.com. Click on that and buy something in that help support us and it doesn't change the way you shop you can also catch all my past interviews and read my blog and see the daily podcast picture at mikesdailypodcast.com and now another installment of into an interview and a matthews interview with me on mobile Mike on mobile I'm speaking with Dan Menapace from the Illogistical Resource Department. We're sit, uh, sitting in Dog Patch. We're surrounded by dogs. Actually, no, there's a nice husky sitting by us. But we're at a wine bar, and Dan's drinking. What are you drinking there? We got some downtown brown, local. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so they have great art on their bottles. Yeah. I think this. This is completely run by women, this brewery. <laughs> Last I remember, yeah. It's actually Lost Coast Brewery. Yeah. Lost Coast Brewery. Oh, and it's all run by women. Eureka. In Eureka, California. So that's further north from here. Yeah. I think I found a reason to go to Eureka. <laughs> yeah, it's as good a reason as any, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the slogan for California, Eureka. <laughs> which is, which was because the miners stunk so bad, and it was like Eureka, Eureka. Uh, okay, no, it was when you find gold, you go, I found it. That's what Eureka means. Okay. Uh, I, I've just given you inspiration for another song. There you go. You know more than me already. I've been here twenty years. <laughs> uh, and then, d- Transmission Cinema, the name of the album. Where where did that come from? That was actually from the album art it was kind of an old organ room a strange organ room that was used for the cover and uh, I just got that name the transmission like transmitting music and uh, kind of put that together with movies and because some of our songs are actually written based on like old movies or just kind of things I see in my head you know so I put them together, and it was also actually actually at first I was going to use transmission theater, but that that was actually an old bar 
in San Francisco that closed down, and that was where our first CD release party was. <laughs> so oh, wow. I had to change it, <laughs> change it up. Where is that organ? That uh, picture, where was that taken? Oh, I'm not sure where it was taken. I, I didn't take the picture. I, I just found it through a friend. So, but yeah, it's pretty creepy looking. <laughs> it is. It is. Like it's Transylvania or something. <laughs> yeah, tra- uh, Dracula plays that. And and then he, he's like, listen to the music of the night. No, wait. The creatures of the night, what music they make. I forget. He says something. Bella Lugosi. Yeah, well, some of our songs are actually... Um, some based on some cheesy old horror movies, oh, you know, okay. like so. Uh, it kind of fits the theme, you know. We have this kind of like we always find these really cheesy uh, '70s movies, and just want to do something with them. You know? And you make the music. T- I saw on your Facebook you have you did the theme to Get Smart. Yeah, we wanted to do a cover song just in between, you know, before the, this new album came out. And uh, we were trying to think of a, a band that we all like, you know, but we couldn't really come up with anything. And uh, I always liked that, that theme song. You know, it's really quirky, but kind of odd, you know. So uh, we were kind of messing around with the arrangements and stuff and see if we could do that on our instruments, you know, if it would, if it would uh, kind of go over, you know, so... I started learning the bass line, adding some things in between it, and it worked out. And then uh, Noah came in with, we went to our rehearsal space and uh, started recording us all this junk percussion, like breaking glass bottles and hitting metal on the ground, and rolling pipes on the ground, and just sampling all that. And using that in the background as as like a sequence, and uh, yeah, and then Jim came in with the guitar licks, where the kind of the horns would be in the original, and that's how it came to be. Ooh, cool! Check it out on their fa- Facebook, Facebook.com/slash IRD or or is it a logistical resource department? A logist, a logistical resource department. Yeah. And tell me about Aphagia Recordings. Oh, that's just a small label. I started with the last record just to get ourselves off the ground, you know. Um, I haven't really signed anyone else on there yet. We're just working on our own stuff. But, yeah, I'd like to start getting some other San Francisco weirdness sounds on there, you know. So it's it's like odd forms of sound is what it's kind of their motto, you know, so... Yeah, I want to kind of take that a little further after this album's out and look for some bands that might be interested. So, yeah. Oh, wow, here comes a really loud motorcycle. Let's see if we can capture the sounds. Maybe you can put that on one of those uh, records on your new label. Yeah, we've used stuff like that before, actually. <laughs> so, old diesel, old diesel uh, cars and stuff. Oh, wait, Buck isn't listening. What, what kind of dog is Buck? Brittany. Uh, oh, Brittany? <laughs> okay. We're surrounded by dogs here at the Dog Patch. <laughs> Better, yeah, that's a good spot, I guess. <laughs> yeah, in, the, in the Dog Patch Saloon. So. And I took public transportation here. I have to tell you that I would be an idiot not to because every five seconds a bus or a train goes by. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, this, this part of town has got built up so much. I mean... Just like ten years ago, they were they were saying that the uh, the Bart line was going to be coming down here to Muni line. Oh wow! So there, everybody was just like buying everything up around here because they knew it was coming. So yeah, we used to play down at the end of Third Street. At the, there was a uh, an old club called the Pound SF, and uh, it's still kind of run down out there. It's just a post office out there, but yeah, it's all working down towards that direction, you know. Tell me about the song Lost for Words. It it has this kind of like a Greek feel to it. Like I want to eat some dolmate, dolmates. Is that it? Is yeah. That the grape leaf thing? It sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, Jim Harris, he came in with uh, a bazooki instrument. I've never seen one before. 
but it's actually a Greek instrument. It's kind of like a cross between like an acoustic guitar and a, a mandolin, kind of. And uh, I wasn't sure if that sound would fit our with our band, but uh, the, the things he played on it and the, the scales he used had this kind of a ominous feel to it, even though it was it's tuned to like more of like a major tuning just dg dg i think but uh yeah he made it he had this pretty crazy riff kind of quirky riff too and uh it took me a while to figure out something interesting to do on bass over that so i have a fretless bass so i was messing around with that over top of it and just came up with something kind of a little outside the box of not exactly what he's doing just going in and around what he's doing kind of uh -huh. And uh, yeah, it worked out pretty good. So yeah, it's that was. Uh, he, we wanted to do one more bazooki tune, but we figured eleven songs were enough. <laughs> so. Greek and rock together. You got like Miserlou. That was like a big surf rock tune, right? The, yeah. And so this is. Let's listen to it from the album Transmission Cinema. This is Lost for Words. Is it? it so inspired by the instrument, the, the the Greek instrument. Yeah, I think there's two different type of bazookis. There's Greek, and I think an Irish one. They have a slightly different sound. Oh, cool. Yeah, one's a little bit more tinnier sounding than the other one. But I think the one that Jim has sounds better than the other one, I think. Let's listen and rock out to Lost for Words. It's the Illogistical Resource Department and Dan Menapace with Mike's Daily Podcast. All right. at facebook.com slash illogistical resource department as we go outside a cafe anyway here at the last place on earth located somewhere in Podcaster Valley and here's today's podcast picture the picture is of myself wearing a really stupid hat and Dan Menapace over there in Dog Patch illogistical resource department being represented by Dan you can see that picture now at mikesdailypodcast.com Michael Masters it looks like it was a very nice place yeah. And you're wearing a very strange hat. Ooh. Yeah. What happened? Did you eat some bad eggs and it made you want to wear that hat? I just wore it. My head was cold. I'm bald. Mike, you're bald? I didn't know that. Yeah, we didn't know that. Do you know that? Or about the Bruce Jenner thing? Yeah. No, you guys did. Next show, it's the finale of my intro interview. With the logistical resource department, 
they should actually spell it that way. Uh, everywhere I print illogistical, by the way, on the internet, it always auto, it's, it's like, that is not a word. You cannot use that. Stop. Meltdown. Plus, we hear from Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Floor Man, and John Deere the Engineer. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.